Welcome back, friends, to our continued adventures in Phantom Brigade. I had the uh, <laughs> one of the worst case scenarios where I recorded a couple episodes conquering this little country here, or province Belkin, I think it was called, and then this one up here uh, separately, and then I realized my software, for whatever reason, decided to, uh, by default, mute my microphone. So that's frustrating. That's why it's been a couple days, because I just had to cool down, decompress. I hate that. <laughs> um, but we're back, and uh, we're going to attack this province up here. And uh, just like I mentioned before, we could contest it now and start fighting, but there's no reason to right away. Instead, what we're going to do is um, get close right before we launch an attack. Then we'll declare the attack. So, let's see. You got a little base here, a cache. So let's get nice and close to that. We'll declare we're contesting it, which I think will ramp that up. If, yep, now it's at 180. We've leveled up our guys, but they're basically still the same. Two with assault rifles that are mobile, one with a sniper rifle, and one with the railgun. And that's something I've kind of noticed. I've seen some complaints about the game being kind of repetitive and samey. And unfortunately, after conquering those last couple of provinces, I kind of agree. Um, it's weird because in Battle Brothers, I guess you could say the same thing. It's a sword, right? There's different tiers and different power levels of sword, but the same weapon. I, something's different about it, though. Maybe it's because of the perks. I don't know. But I can see where people could get the idea that this game is kind of samey. Same with these battles. Um, I mean, look, I can try to move to the cash entrance and steal supplies and run away, but really I'm just going to kill these guys and leave. Uh, a couple of scenarios I saw had like, in the city, there are certain historical buildings you're not supposed to destroy, or you know, you try not to destroy them, right? Uh, but, you know, you're on the outskirts of the city, you just wait and the enemy comes and you fight them out here. So there's little hints of interesting things in these battles, but they never really pan out to anything, because everything's just kill the enemy and it's too easy. Alright, let's see. First things first, we're going to scan and see if they're attacking anybody. They move. So lots of guys are shooting at you. And somebody's going to be shooting some missiles that look like at you. This guy is getting shot at by what? A machine gun. So really, that machine gun will start chewing through those buildings. In fact, it's right now he's got line of sight to avoid that build, this building and just clip this little one here. What I think we'll do is jump off to the side here so the machine gun has to chew through a lot more. And then this dude will just have a nice clear shot at that guy who's going to just be standing right there. So, let's dash over to, say, here. And he's got a pretty long range assault rifle, so let's see if that's too far. Because he's shooting through the building. So, we will reduce his jump about to here. And let's see what that looks like. Yep, now he's shooting through a lot more buildings, so that location works defensively. Does it work for us offensively? It still does not. This is uh, slightly tedious, but I can still kind of appreciate it from the tactical perspective. What are we hitting? Oh, it might be less the building. It kept moving back thinking it was the building, but it's more because we're hitting the, or shooting down and we're clipping the side of this hill here. Um, so maybe instead, although if we jump out more forward so we can shoot over this lip, that guy is going to have a clear line of sight at us. So maybe instead we shoot at somebody else. Like that guy. Although, he gets there, well, he gets there fairly early in the order. What happens 
if we do jump and move forward. How's that look? Yeah, that's a clear shot, which is what we don't want a machine gun having against us. All right, let me plan this out since I'm over and over again. It's kind of boring to see that. So let me uh, pause it here and we'll skip ahead. Okay, I think we've figured things out now. So, uh, our guy here, who I was initially working with, he's just going to move forward. It's not great target, but he's going to shoot that guy across the valley <laughs> I'll call it the low ground there eh, I mean doesn't have a great chance of hitting but he's got nothing else to do so a couple free shots as he vacates this hilltop my sniper lady's gonna hop up this buildings in the way so she dashes up runs over and then she's got the optimal let's see here optimal range at that same target nice clear shot at a stationary target that guy is both these people, I think they have machine guns? Uh, that guy's a beam weapon, which is... Uh, we haven't seen many beam weapons, but it's just a continuous laser beam <laughs> that just cuts through everything and just shoots consistently. But it doesn't turn very quickly, so if you can move side to side, the, the shooter can't pivot very well. doesn't matter, because they're targeting this guy. Uh, I didn't have much to do. I didn't want him getting really up close at the end of the time and then maybe getting shot right away. So he's just doing the curly shuffle back here, running around with his shield up mostly, trying to block those, that missile or missiles that guy shoots. And at the very end, he gets up close here and he's shooting at that guy at the end of the time phase. Uh, because I've got people going left and this guy off to the right, my guy at the rail gun's not being shot at at all. So he dashes forward, shoots once at that guy who's mostly stationary at optimal range. And then while he cools down, he moves forward. I think he may clip through the terrain there a bit with his railgun, so he loses a bit of power. So he'll run forward while he cools, and then he'll get a second shot at optimal range. I didn't start a third one. Uh, first, he may be overheating regardless, and second, uh, I don't want him continuing an action to the next turn and maybe being stuck here. So, let's see how this goes. Should be okay. I'm just kind of worried how this assault rifle is not going to hit much over there. We did hit that guy with the... quite a bit, actually, it looks like. Alright, um... This guy is crashing, so he blew out his legs, and his main body is hurt pretty badly, too. And we probably just nicked this guy. Oh, I actually did some pretty good damage to him as well. Look at that, his uh, upper body is under half. Is this guy going to eject or anything? Nope, he's going to keep trying to fight. This guy also hurt pretty bad but he's in the fight all right well let's take a look we're gonna watch the time phase here so nobody's shooting these two that's a uh, an interesting strategy let's uh, run you forward you could take a shot at that guy who's crashing He's going to be stuck down there for a while. And then... That guy is moving off to the right there. Uh, I have a feeling one burst might be enough to finish that guy off. He's not in a good way. So let's spray some fire at that guy, even though it's uh, not ideal. If we shoot at that guy... Eh, we only get a little bit of time before it's blocked. But... Can we shoot at this guy? Let's take a look at that. Yes, and he's moving towards us, so it's a... a relatively easy shot, not a lot of lead. And then... How about that guy? And he's standing still for the rest of the time. 
So I put one round into him and one round into that guy. This guy's moving forward and gonna finish him off. Hopefully. What else is shooting? That guy is gonna try to shoot at my railgun. This guy is gonna try to shoot at the railgun. This guy is the one coming across from left to right, it's that guy. He's gonna try to shoot my assault rifle mech. And the final one Either way, both these two on the right are attempting to shoot at this mech, it would appear. Although I don't really see how this this mech... Oh, he's shooting his... Uh, he's shooting his missiles again, his secondary weapon. That's kind of weird. Um, there's the missile flying through the air there. So that question is these two are easy they're gonna mess with these guys how do we move them okay I think I figured it out we I mean really a lot of times at least from where I've been playing it's defensive first if you know who's shooting at your guys just as long as you dodge away and don't get shot and only shoot with a handful of your people, you're still going to win, right? So we're going to do a classic crisscross here. <laughs> These two are trying to shoot at this assault rifle guy. So he's going to just dash over here. This building is cover. And then spray some more shots at this guy who's going to be stationary. And then the railgun, who's being shot at by these two, is just going to cross over and take his place and shoot at actually because this guy is going to be in the back is going to be stationary and at a better optimal range we'll shoot at him um, what's going to be interesting is this dude is running forward I wonder if it's uh, oh it's a heavy so he's running forward and he's going to crash into my guy who I believe is also a heavy mech I think they're both heavies yeah Units crash upon collision with other heavy units, but remain stable. Okay, so they're going to crash into each other and I guess just knock each other down. Which I think I'm okay with. Because we're going to fuck up some people over here. So let's see how this goes. Crisscross. Some sniper shots there that didn't work very well. That guy looks like he took some damage. That didn't look good at all. Let's take a look. His body armor, his core is really bad. And he's not shooting. He's just running, so that's good. This guy we did not kill. And he's almost dead. I'm surprised he's not ejecting. Uh, this guy is ejecting. The guy who got railgunned twice. My railgun dude is looking fine. He didn't get hurt at all. Uh, maybe we killed the guy who was charging him. I only see three enemy mechs here. And it's interesting because that guy who was charging forward who was going to collide with me when I shot the railgun at him, the railgun actually went through that guy with both volleys. So I wonder if he took damage and got killed. Uh, either way, I don't see him up here anymore. That guy's ejecting. We could ignore him. This guy is just trying to keep shooting at my guy through the building, which hopefully won't work. So we can shoot through the building back with a rail gun. So let's try to do that. Um, our assault rifles. Can I kind of put some more rounds into that guy? Oh, look at that. He's standing still. He's at optimal range. He only got 116 uh, torso armor that should kill him this guy we're just gonna keep putting shots on that guy moving Let's see if we can drop him and I think my sniper will do the same keep putting rounds on him because really he's the only even kind of threat 
Oh, it's blocked. Oh, it's blocked because I'm going to shoot my own guy. We don't want that. Okay, that's fine. So we get one shot. A little bit of, uh, is obscured by the corner of this building here. And then we'll just shut it off. In fact, that might be a good time. Yep, you can put a round into him if he's still up. This guy may move forward and collide with me before he ejects, but I don't care. Simple enough. He's still just chewing away at that building. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, so the machine guns started hitting him through the building. But uh, we killed that guy quickly enough. Everybody else is out. That'll do. And let's see. So we should have at least one enemy mech intact. And of course, it's always the lowest tier one, right? <laughs> um, the Glory Dog Beam Weapon. Which might be worth keeping, except it's only level 4. So it's, we kind of need higher tier weapons for most of our guys. Um, so we will scrap all of that. Just because it's easy and it'll be worth some resources for us. We've got some top tier stuff up here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the barrier legs and heavy plate. I want coolant. And it's just a defensive module. Let's scrap that because we'll get some rare resources. Uh, I've not been a big fan of the heavy weapons. At least for my playstyle, Mobility has been the key, and these things are very heavy. So with that, composite and a defensive module. Again, the defensive modules are kind of garbage. Machine gun. Yeah, it's just a heavy machine gun. Don't need that. This has cooling and a defensive module. Um, you might at least give that one a look. Cooling is fairly handy. You say off offset some of the disadvantages of a heavy armor piece. I haven't really been using these missile launchers. One long range guided missile. I mean I could instead of a shield give this to somebody but I think we're doing okay with the weapon systems we have. Anything else? An 8 ton shield. I was looking to see if they had some of those really lightweight ones but I don't see them. So, let's just scrap some more stuff. That's fine. Whatever. Let's get some resources out of it. And only got scratched. One, one mech got down to 99%. Drop the enemy. Now, let's see where we're gonna go next. There are two locations, a mining site and a battle site. The battle site. The battle site, we have to go over there to help rescue our uh, home guard friends. So we'll do that. It's only 225, and there'll be several home guard units there to help us. So it should be a pretty easy fight. Once we get close here. We'll go in warp speed, dash in to save the day. It says hard, but again, that's not it's not including all of the uh, like we got three friendly units here plus my four mechs versus it looks like four enemy units. So this should be a cakewalk. That's my uh, tactical assessment as a professional. Again, we can do the little tour of the battlefield. That's not necessary. There's this chitter chatter. It's not necessary. And it's just a, again, kind of a straight up fight. What do we got? We got a machine gun and handgun mech, shotgun and shield, assault rifle and shield, plasma repeater and missile launcher. That's always annoying. And it looks like that's the missile. He's going to be shooting missiles at somebody. Uh, the home guard are over here. A mech with a handgun and a shield. And then two tanks. 
and I don't typically like the uh, default things that they're doing, so take those off. Let's see who they're shooting at. They are really pouring the fire onto my top guy, super mobile assault, uh, yeah, assault rifle, and then a little bit on my other assault rifle dude. But you can see the stuff on the other assault rifle dude is both from this direction and both covered by this hill. So really, as long as this guy stays kind of in this area, he's untouchable. Which means he can just run down to here. Yep, no one can touch him. And he can just pour the fire into these guys. Even though it's a long shot. Got another shot into him. Let's... I mean, those aren't great. Let's wait with this one. I mean, I can shoot from a distance, but it will be better, I think, to let it get closer into optimal range. There we go. Okay, that's one. My sniper rifle. I could put her up on this hill. The trees are a bit in the way. But the hills and stuff, this guy in the back might be out of sight. Let's give it a shot though. Let's go up to the top here. And then from there, can you hit? Oh, you can't hit that guy. Wait. No, I don't want to hit that guy. I want to hit the other guy. I want to hit... Okay, maybe I'll we'll shoot at two different people. If we shoot at that guy, he is still moving. So what if I shoot at the guy behind him? It says he's blocked, but that's okay. If he's blocked by the other dude, it's not an issue. Is he still blocked? He is not. So it's not that we couldn't see him because of the terrain, just because of that guy. I don't care if we hit that guy or that guy, we hit somebody. And then... We can switch targets to him, and he's basically standing still. So we should have two good shots from the sniper. Next, this poor guy is getting everything shot at him. Um, let's just stuck behind this hill. Hmm. Well, I mean, even though technically. What's this guy doing? He's shooting a shotgun at you. <laughs> Not too worried about that hitting him. There are missiles and crap flying at you. So, let's just um, hide behind this hill. Put up our shield. Not super creative, but hey. That should absorb any stray shots to get through. And you're tying up most of the enemy team. Finally, we have our rail gunner. He can also jump forward, I suppose. Although, we gotta be careful not to walk into this. I was gonna move forward, but if he gets hit by the stray fire, it's not gonna. He's still gonna take damage. And this is gonna push him into her. So. Let's jump this way. Okay. Shoot it. Nope. Oh, gotta wait till that guy gets a little closer. How about now? Okay. Shoot at him. There. Uh, two railgun bursts, a couple machine gun bursts, or assault rifle bursts that might drop that guy. This tank with a handgun is just silly. Uh, I'm not really even interested in you, but we'll let you run up here to play out. Uh, sure. You're helping. This dude. Just drive on forward, I guess. And where's the other tank? What do you have? An assault rifle. 
Uh, again, you're kind of out of position for that. Let's... That, that, this dude is moving too slowly. Actually, that dude's moving too quickly. We're going to move the tank through. This guy, instead, we're going to have slow down a bit. He's going to wait, and then he'll start moving, and he'll stop up in here. All right. Fully deployed, staying out of lanes, doing some damage. Should be a little bit of everything. And yes, yeah, Sniper put some hits on that guy. We already killed the rail gun to dude. <laughs> this guy is spraying fire into the hills. Alright, so that unit is toast. This unit is going to eject. So they are down two already. What do we have left? This guy is going to move forward. And <laughs> again, shoot the guy behind the hill. That guy is shooting at someone who's behind the hill. And then going to spray some long range fire at my sniper rifle. And really, I think my sniper rifle is going to just plink shots at him. Ooh, that's a little bit of too much heat there. Two hits on that dude. Is there anything else that can assist in fishing that guy off? We don't want you running forward since you're being shot at by him already. You are being shot at by that guy. What is he armed with? A shotgun? Yeah, I don't care. You. Can you dash up there? Just. Plop up to the top of the hill and start chewing that guy up. This tank doesn't need to move at all. He is doing just great. From right where he is, he has the assault rifle. What if he waits a minute? How about to here? Nope. A little close. So, what's optimal range? What if we drive up to here and then fire? Probably too close, but that's still okay. We'll just pour some shots in up close. I don't care if you overheat. In fact, our little handgun mech, he can probably help out too. He can run over to here and plink away. Pachoo! What's he getting hit? Is he hitting the hilltop? Didn't look like the hill was in the way, but what is the range on this handgun? 46 to 62 meters is optimal, so maybe he again, he's too close. So Who's shooting you? That dude. Why don't you move forward and shoot that guy? That's brutal. That guy should be done. Um. You're jumping into the line of fire. We don't want that. And you're overheating when you do it, which you also don't want. You are actually getting in the way. You don't need to move because you're already not being hit. So I guess we'll just stand here and shoot this guy. Still good. Which means this guy can freely run forward. fire from here. Optimal range. It might be through a little bit of terrain, but it's okay. This guy... Uh, 
I guess run over here. Still blocked by the hill. Get up on a little bit higher ground with the other dude. There we go. I mean, it's irrelevant. That guy's got enough firepower on him. What do you have? A marksman rifle. So this guy actually has a sniper rifle that could be useful hitting that guy. If we can get him in position. Get up here and fire. Oh, it says blocked because of my guy there. Ugh. Hmm. If he drove. Wait. Oh, he's ejecting. That's fine. I think we got enough. That's fine. Look at that. One hit. Two hits. Ow. 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 <laughs> I mean, she took a few hits. I probably could have just blocked this shield, but... Let's take a look. Oh. Look at that. Her armor looks almost pristine, so she just got scratched. This guy is untouched. This guy is untouched. Yeah, we're fine. You see all those numbers piling up, you're like, oh my gosh, he's getting destroyed, but it's all like four damage, so it doesn't add up to much. Once again, the intact units, the least advanced. This, actually, I mean, look at that, there we go. As soon as you take your cursor off here, though, that goes away. Why does that go away? I want to see what it has. Cooling is nice. Hydraulics for mobility are nice. I mean, aside from the fact that it's only tier 4, so the just the raw number is going to be lower for armor and stuff, it's not a bad little set. But we'll scrap that along with the rest of this. Uh, this plated and barrier. Meh. Plated and barrier, I don't care barrier mobility and it's level six medium legs we'll keep that it's got a hybrid offensive sensor that's good improved cooling too a defensive module we can swap out I don't know the endurance thruster what's that one do minus four power so maybe it Lower heat. Okay, so we generate less heat and we can sprint better, but we, uh, yeah, we lose a little bit of regular mobility power. That looks okay. We might give that one a try. And uh, the rest of this stuff is all stuck. Tower shield. This is only, this is what we're looking for. It's only three tons, because a lot of it is the rechargeable barrier. We don't typically want to use these. We don't have to. So let's keep that, which we can't. Uh, is there something we can get rid of? A level five assault rifle would be kind of cool too. Uh, we're keeping, I mean, these are all nice to keep. I want the rare materials from those. It seems kind of a waste to put four things back down here, but ultimately those are just giving me raw material, which are pretty easy to come by. All right. So a couple other things I've found out as I've been playing that I'll share. Um, the workshop's kind of interesting. The more um, provinces you liberate, the higher level stuff you produce. So if I produce, well, this is everything. If I produce a torso, legs, or arms of this, of any of these types, they'll come out as level six items. So it's nice that it kind of progresses to keep your production line uh, current with whatever you're doing game-wise. This is the, to keep everything relevant. These are kind of useful, all these different, um, modules and things you can build and it's neat because like uh, okay 
for some of them, like the reactor, you ch choose whether you want utility, combat, or speed. It doesn't tell you exactly which one you're going to build, so there's different, different models of reactor you can put in your mechs to have different uh, pros and cons. But While the other things you might generate, like these weapon accelerators or sensors, you can make common, uncommon, or rare that take additional types of resources, better, better. This one, I can't even make the rare ones yet because I have to upgrade my ship. Uh, I think it's up in the top here, her production is. I have to do this experimental assembly, as you can see. I can't come down to show you, but if you look in the little pop-up window there, I need 20 rare components, 2,000 supplies, and 40 uncommon components, which I'm not even close to. I've got this one, at least one upgrade, so I can produce two things simultaneously. So I've been just kind of chucking out odds and ends. So if you look, actually I'll go to this guy because he's got the most pimped out mech. He's got the light plate that, if you look, again, I have to hold it here. I can't bring the cursor over. You click on it, it shows uh, it reduces his armor's defensive value by 30%, both the armor and the barrier. But it also reduces his mass by 30%, so he's much quicker and lighter. Uh, I could take that off, and then, yeah, I mean, he's still fast. He's just slightly slower because he's added some mass. Uh, I can change. These are all the different reactors. The one he has... Uh, does some additional barrier regeneration, which kind of works out because he's got lots of shielding. Uh, 15 heat dissipation, which is very high. The heat capacity is only 85, which is kind of low. But his weapon doesn't generate a lot of heat, so he doesn't need that capacity. And 85 power, I believe, is above average, which is why his regular speed is pretty high. So he's quick. His dash is a little bit lower than it used to be, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go through and... Uh, oh, oh, and because his mass is so low, he's got a lot of lightweight equipment and things, his class is light. So if he goes in a collision with somebody heavier than him, he'll get knocked over and they won't. I'm going to go through and just kind of check all their gear, look at what I've scavenged from the field, and we'll be back in a bit. All right, mechs are all pimped out. Again, pretty much the same general stuff. Just a slight upgrade in the level of equipment that they have. Oh, repair convoy. That should be a nice, easy target to take out. Maybe we'll get some sweet loot out of the deal. Yeah, question mark. Like, whoa, what is that? Now, they will call for assistance, but it's not going to be enough, my friends. Oh, are they faster than me? They seem to be. I can't catch up with them. So, maybe instead we'll go to this mine site. And actually, the mine site, if you look in the lower right there, uh, it says repairs consume less liquid fix and repairs progress faster. So, this would be a good one to uh, knock out early. Oh. Because that will allow us to, well, repair things more quickly and more efficiently without having to go back to base to get more supplies. Uh, patrol. And we're at full strength. Everyone's healed up. It says level 5. My guys are level 4.8. Should be a medium fight, which I'm guessing, as I've said before, uh, probably means it'll be easy. <laughs> but we'll see. This is a location. There may be some interesting gimmicks. They've struck around. Yep, so here. Don't damage key civilian locations. Oh, but it doesn't show any key locations. And it shows backwards by default. <laughs> We're just backed into a corner in a shooting gallery. That's a <laughs> an interesting start for the mission. All right, well... Um, 
first things first who's being shot at and who isn't being shot at they emerge and they pile the shots into you and a couple shots at you these two in the back aren't being shot at all holy cow these guys are flying right in my face all right well who is this sniper rifle the sniper rifle is actually not ideal with against these guys Ugh, a shotgun and an incendiary splitter interesting well I mean I guess we can shoot that dude as he's coming at me optimal range Looks like a nice clear shot at him. Now, I'm kind of, well, this is a nice spot, and I could sit here and shoot all day. Uh, I don't want to start the next time frame with a shotgun mech right in my face. So, we're going to wait up until all the shooting is done. And then... You're going to start moving away. And if we need to, you'll put your shield up or burst away at the beginning of the next turn. Okay, next. Railgun dude. You've got these guys charging straight at us. I'm thinking the railgunner might just move over here and get a free couple shots as they blitz in. Uh, so let's come over here. Then around here. Okay, that looks fine to me. It's a little bad distance range, but now it's perfect range. And let's actually fire as he's closer. Now we'll get two shots at optimal range. And we'll be ready to act at the beginning of next turn. So that guy has a sniper rifle shooting at him, and then two railgun shots up close. Next, you are being shot at by two people. That guy has a heavy weapon, like a machine gun or something, so that actually is a little dangerous. I don't know the incendiary spitter. Optimal range is 25 to 67 meters. Zero. So, not, not ideal. If we step back, will that hilltop cover us? Not quite. Not from that location, at least. Hmm. And that thing, 21%. Not great, but it's going to hit me occasionally. What if I drop back, maybe to here? Yeah, you're still getting shot at. All right, fine. So I got a couple options. Actually, I may be able to jump. Collision. All right. Jump to there. Move up to here. Yeah, you got these guys spraying at you with a shotgun and another short-range weapon. But you are now... Eh. I mean, it's not ideal range, but I mean, it's free shots, so I might as well take them. Dart to the side, use that hill for cover against the more dangerous weapon, and chew that dude up a little bit. Who's left? Oh, my best dude. He's got one guy shooting at him. A machine gun. How do we get away from that? How do we do that? I mean, we could... I mean, it's not the ideal range. Oof, he's a lot slower now. I put some heavier stuff on him. He can jump out to there. <laughs> 
I was thinking about jumping him and then running. That's a little wonky, so... You put this shield up. He's going to get hit a little bit by those guys, but that's okay, I guess. And then he's behind the building and behind those guys. He'll get hit a little bit, but I think he'll be okay, and then he'll be in a good position to, I guess act in either direction depending on what the enemy does next turn. I'm not super sold on that but whatever. I mean 20-21% so still not high percentage shot. His shield can eat some of it. He's moving perpendicular to the shooter. Should be okay. Let's see. I'm kind of curious if the rail gun will do a lot. Oh the sniper rifle tore that dude up. Yeah. Yeah he did. He didn't do well. Maybe hey, we got a few hits over here. Let's see here. That guy. This guy is alive. We didn't kill him, but he did get wrecked pretty hard. This guy should be untouched. That guy is. He got, I think, hit with a sniper rifle once. And this guy got plinked a little bit. He didn't get hurt very much at all, just a little bit in the arm. Alright, let's see what's happening. So. They are all in on my guy on the left here <laughs> except for the very last second so um, I mean let's just keep moving away I guess and keep our shield up just in this general direction shield up shield up shield up all right so they're spraying fire at me ineffectively. That guy is just shooting into the hillside. This guy is the only one that might be of some concern. So our sniper rifle will plink away at him. And he's coming right at us, so it's going to be an easy shot. Now... <clears throat> Um, I guess you'll come out here and then just start shooting at them. Should be at a pretty optimal range, yeah. I mean, they are moving perpendicular, which is a little annoying, but... Okay, I guess you can shoot that dude. And then you'll be cooling down for next turn. No one... Okay, that machine gun will shoot at my rail gunner so we're gonna want to move when that happens let's put some shots into him okay that's where the shield needs to go up right in there right there we'll say facing him so you're going to wait until you're done shooting. It's kind of an awkward system here, All right? Right to there. I want you to wait until you're done shooting. All right? No, that's too long. Whatever, I don't care. And then let's move back. I guess. Actually, we'll move sideways across the back here. The machine gun is going to turn with and hit my uh, sniper lady a little bit as we come through, but that's fine. We'll be moving perpendicular. Harder to hit for my person and keeping up with these two. This guy isn't doing anything but leading them away. We're going to hit that guy very hard. And one of these guys, or maybe both of them a little bit. I think he's the only one we're going to kill though. Yep, he's getting hit hard. Yes, he is done done. Alright, what's going on? They're shooting my guy on the left. And now they're switching back to shoot that guy. 
you are going to need to dash back so you don't get hit by the machine gun right away. You dash back. That building will not last forever, unfortunately. You're going to be hot. What if I just move back? We'll step back a bit. That will get us out of line of sight in time. We can pour some shots into him. And then we'll put our shield up and face this direction. And then we will shoot again at him. Um, we're going to have to count on... This guy's pretty hurt, right? Didn't we hurt him before? Yeah, he is fairly hurt. We're going to hope that the sniper will hit that guy and stop him. Let's shoot two as quickly as we can right there. Hopefully we can knock him out before he can chew through that building and really start wrecking him. That guy has the shotgun at long range and is backing away. I'm almost tempted just to trade with him. Let's move up a bit and then let's see what that range looks like for us. It's almost optimum range. And now he's standing still. There. Three shots. Um, this guy. Where's my rail gunner? I kind of wanted to hit him, but that may not happen. Actually, I mean, you have a dash. Hmm. Okay, what if I shoot from here? What's that look like? Optimum range? That's what I was hoping to see. Okay, so two railguns, optimum range, and one or two assault rifle bursts. Hopefully that's enough to take that guy out. So at the end, this guy should be dead. That guy is dead or horribly wounded. This guy is moderately wounded. Oh, he's already really hurt. That This assault rifle should be enough for him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that shotgun's... There we go. Took him out, took him out. The sniper rifle took him out. I think I might have got them all. He did. Let's see. How damaged are my people? Come on. I want to see him. I want to see him. But sometimes I can. This time I can't. Okay. I guess I can't look at him this time. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I don't think we salvage anybody. No, they all loaded up. We will scrap that, get some rare components. Uh, scrap that. Level 5 light legs. Plated, so much stronger than normal. And a mobility one. That's actually pretty good. Let's try to keep that. Uh, I don't care about those. I don't care about that. These are the, it's a, not too heavy a shield, but it's not the super light ones I usually use. This is the heavy one. Another machine gun. So, eh, nothing too interesting. So it's just scrap stuff. Until we fill up our salvage quota. And that should be it. All right, we step into town. This is the mining place. Uh, protesters. They took some of our stuff. They're taking more. The bad guys are bad guys. All right, so. And they're moving the supplies they've been stealing somewhere. Can we find it? We have a captive. We captured earlier. One of the places we had had a little event pop up where we... Took a captive. Um, 
I don't know if I, this is, I've seen this before. I don't remember if I talked about it or not. In reality, I would do this. The people of the town you'd think would know where they went. I don't know if some random ass pilot would, would know. But we're gonna ask the pilot since we have one. That's the game answer. <gasps> yeah, I know. Uh, I remember the security detail assigned to it too. Why would some random mech pilot know? Whatever. If I tell you, will you let me go? <laughs> I, I don't have a choice, apparently. <laughs> apparently I have to say yes. Um, so where's that target? That target's way over here. Way over there. Wait, did it relocate? Did it spin me around too? Arr. Yes, it did. Regardless, I think I'm here. All right, well, we'll come up on the hour mark. So, I think you can maybe even hear it, unfortunately, in my voice. I kind of like the mechanics. It's kind of fun, but the battles are very formulaic. And, again, comparing to Battle Brothers, which is kind of the, the gold standard we use here, um, I don't know if I'd... <laughs> Those battles get a little formulaic too, but there are multiple enemy types that are all very different. Um, the enemies in this game are all pretty much the same. It's the same enemy forces. Sure, they have slightly differently armed mechs, but the, the formula I'm using of just... They focus fire on one unit, so you hide that unit, and your other units move and just kill the enemy. It's <laughs> a, little, a little easy. We'll push through, we'll capture this, we'll capture the capital city here, and then we'll make, oh, 825, that looks like a lot. Maybe we won't capture it right away. <laughs> uh, and then we'll make an assessment from there if we're going to play on or play something different. It, it's unfortunate because it's a neat concept, I kind of enjoy it. Um, against a computer opponent, it's maybe a little too easy. And you couldn't do it against a human opponent, because the future site wouldn't work unless you like alternated and took turns somehow. One person had to play, predict his movements, and then, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll uh, see you next time.